just fine. Whiterun is a lovely city, and there are so many other children here. They all love playing together. Goodbye, my love. Hi, my love. Hey, that's Feindal. What is he doing here? Well, I'm going to throw some stuff into my garbage barrel first, and I'm going to check out why this guy is now here. And, well, I'm going to go talk to him. You want to talk to me after everything you've done? Well, that was fast. And, yeah, he has the gall to be, how shall I say, um, upset with me? You got to remember, when I showed you the Mary Camilla video, uh, she had two other love interests, the bard and the elf guy, Fane Dog. And I had probably warned that Camilla will cheat on you. And I thought I'd ruined Feindall's reputation with Camilla. Well, apparently not. And like I said, the guy is indignant with me. Why is he here? Oh, he's cheating with Camilla. This can't stand. And well, now I've got to follow him to a certain point in order to address the issue, let's just say. You have to follow him until he reaches a certain point, and then you're not killing him in the town and possibly going to jail. It depends on how far you want to take it, uh, you can walk around, gather some ingredients, be nonchalant. He doesn't really seem to care that, hey, you're following him. He was seen outside your house, and you addressed him, and he got indignant, and now he's walking away, and you're following him. He doesn't seem concerned at all. This guy is an arrogant jerk, and, well... Again, how far do you want to take it? Do you want to follow him? Are you just fine with Camilla cheating on you? Because eventually you'll see the bard hanging around. And, well, if you're going to take him out, you want to do it outside of town, and these guys walk really slow. So I'm going to fast forward some more and eat up some of the time. Man, this guy is slow. Oh, my lord. You gotta wait till he gets outside of town in order to deal with him and talk to him and express your displeasure. So, let's continue to fast forward. I almost gave up and said, you know, I'll catch him next time. But I don't want there to be a next time. And I'm going to take this guy down. And this is going to be a great place to do it out of town. We're just out of town. There's going to be no witnesses. Oh, wait. There's some Imperials escorting a prisoner. And we all know how nasty those guys can be to prisoners. Um, now let's see if I can come up to... Oh, wait. Mud crab. Mud crab. Maybe that'll take him out. This should be interesting, but I gotta get ready to fight. Ripple is agreeable enough, I... 
never should have come here. Last witness killed? I didn't realize I had a bounty. But I'm going to take key to his house and loot it. And he's got a hunting bow, which is worth nothing. And now I got to get rid of the body here and dispose of him. So he won't be cheating with Camilla on me anymore. Now he can float away with the rest of the garbage. And there is one less guy Camilla will cheat on with me. Um, well, you know, I really could care less, but this is just going to be a fun video. And the fact that I caught Thane, Thane Dahl or whatever his name is, and... He was in White Run, and the only reason he's going to be in White Run is to cheat. And, well, I've ended that. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, I post four videos a week, and you don't want to miss out. So hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. And you will not miss out on any videos that I post. And up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, a dragon. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, I gotta let you guys see this epic dragon fight. Now that the dragon is dead, I get to clear him out, and there looks like to be some dead bodies. Who died? Uh, this is not good. Elvor, well, he's the smith, and uh, I can't sell anything to him anymore. This is going to suck, but I can rob his house. And the White Run, White Run guards, well, I'm going to take their armament and whatever I can take. I probably should just take one of their armors and walk around as a white one, right, right, 
White Run Guard. Yeah, I can't say anything. Now I got the Dragon Soul. Since I'm here in Riverwood, I might as well... Yeah, it's kind of sad he's dead. Anyway, I'm going to walk over to the Riverwood Trader and trade with my brother-in-law and then show you where you would sleep for free with Camilla if you didn't have any kids. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. What gets me is this guy didn't even welcome me into the family and he's not giving me any discounts or extra money for the stuff I'm selling him. God, this guy sucks. What a crappy brother-in-law. I tell ya, this family is a bunch of dirty cheaters. Yeah, I'm not going to sell those dragon bones and stuff, but I'm going to sell the garnet and then see if this guy's got some stuff for sale. Potions of healing and minor healing. Yeah, stock up on those for now. Um... Yeah, regeneration, nah, weak poison. Ah, I'm going to show you where you would sleep if you didn't have a child. Right up here in this loft above the store is a bed where you and Camilla would be sleeping. And right next to her brother, which makes any adult fun kind of stealthy. Kind of creepy, too. Well, here's the door, and out we go to Skyrim. On to other adventures, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by.